Hi, welcome to Robin's Roost. Today I want to share with you a card that I made using the chalkboard technique. Um, it's a fun dandelion card using the Garden Wishes stamp set and some watercolor pencils. So let me flip the camera and I'll show you how to do it. So for our Garden Wishes chalkboard technique card, we're going to start out with just a few simple black and white supplies here. I'm starting with a black piece of cardstock that is cut to um, three and a quarter by five. And then I'm going to need two pieces of basic white cardstock that is cut five and a quarter by four. One will be to layer um, on the front and the other one will be for our greeting on the inside. And then we have our standard card base that is eight and a half by five and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. So we can just set that off to the side. Now I also like to use um, just plain old paper plates. I find they're easier than any fancy um, embossing tray um, to catch the embossing powder. And then when you're done, you can just um, fold them, slide it you know, back into the jar. Um, they get too grubby or, or you can keep one for each color. You just toss them and you're not out anything. So that's my favorite um, for the embossing powder. And then I have the Versamark here that we're going to use for stamping. Um, we've got, I've got our, our stamps all mounted here. Now I do like to take a um, embossing buddy and dust the card with black. It's a little tricky because uh, the embossing buddy kind of leaves dust behind, but it still will help so that the um, <clears throat> embossing powder doesn't stick where you don't want it. I'm going to get these out of the way here before I muck them up. Okay, so let's start with our stamping. Um, whoops, let's start with the largest one. So I'm going to start with the largest image first. So I kind of know where I want that because that's going to be my, um, my focal point. Get this inked up really good. And everything is going to be embossed with the... Um, the white embossing powder so we can just go ahead and do all of our stamping right away at once and you can see that pretty well while you're working on your other ones. You've got to work fairly quickly so that your um, ink doesn't dry and then we're going to do one of these um, spent ones on each side and then we have our greeting Wishing you all the best, whoops, which is going to go right up in the top corner here. And we have to have our little bee. I just absolutely love this bee. He is so darn cute with his little um, bee trail behind him. Okay, so now we have our stamping done. I'm going to close that. You don't really want to get the um, embossing powder onto your ink pad because it would stick everywhere. And we're just going to sprinkle that around. Now you'll see that I've got a few, I must have um, hit the edge of the stamp. And I have a trick for that too. You're just going to take an El Cheapo brush. Um, I actually save everything. So I have piles of brushes from when I used to be a Girl Scout and Boy Scout uh, leader from when my kids were little and I just take that and wipe off those those track marks from where I apparently hit the, the edge of the stamp. So you can do that before you um, heat emboss. And then you're just going to give it a once over and make sure that you have um, gotten embossing powder on everything because you can you know sprinkle it again and re-add if you need it but it looks like we pretty much have everything good there so let me just go hit it with the heat gun I'm back now a couple of tips um, things that that I do when I heat emboss um, just for me and it might work for you I like to hold my heat gun off to the side and let it warm up first before I ever touch the paper with my gun um, it, it just seems like if you blow the heat gun over it before it's hot enough, it, it, it just curls your paper more and wastes time. I, I'm kind of an antsy person, so it's hard for me to do that. It's almost like I have to like 
sing the alphabet or something while I stand there. But it really does help if you wait until the gun is nice and hot before you start to um, heat emboss. And then the other thing that I do, keep moving it. You know, don't sit in one place, move it around. And then I take my glasses off, take a good last check, make sure you have everything um, all melted so you didn't miss a spot. And then when you're sure you have it all, flip it over and just heat the back a little bit. It'll straighten out the, um, you know, any curl that it has to it. So to clean up, you'll see with the paper plates, it's so simple. Just slide it in. I have my garbage under the table. I whack it a couple of times and it's ready for the next time. I, I really um, like that. When I used to use one of those fancy um, trays, I found I had to wash the darn thing to get the color out. So now that we have all the embossing done, we're going to take our um, watercolor pencils and I'm going to just be using the um, Daffodil Delight and the, if I can find it here, the old olive. Okay, so I'm going to leave the um, the spent dandelions, you know the ones that are, these are the white ones. Those are going to stay white and then we're going to make our B yellow and you can see it, it takes a little bit of rubbing to get the, um, what do you call it, pencil, lead, chalk, whatever, whatever is on the pencil to come off onto the um, embossing powder, but basically you're just moving the, um, the pencil lead onto the embossing powder, trying to stay onto the embossing powder and not onto the black part of the paper. And it's a very subtle color. It's not going to be like bold and bright. And then we're going to do all of the greenery with the um, old olive pencil. Now that we have all of the um, leaves colored, you could also take, I'd like to take a light blue or a gray, and we actually have the basic gray in this, and I'm just going to do um, the butterfly wings, or I'm sorry, the bee wings a little bit with this. The gray will kind of tone down the black in between, um, in between where the embossing is, and make them look a little bit more um, see-through. Maybe give his little antennas, and I did color his legs yellow already. I guess he's got um, pollen on his legs. And then it's up to you whether you do the um, the greeting with a color, or if you leave that uh, just plain. So there we have all of our coloring done. And then we're just going to take one of our um, oh excuse me. our basic white pieces and go ahead and mount that on there. And then we're going to layer it onto our uh, card base. So then we have this all mounted and all we have to do is add our um, our liner for the inside because this is so dark you have to have a liner for the inside. 
and you can go ahead and add whatever greeting you want. Um, I think I'm going to leave this one blank for right now, but there are some very nice inside greetings um, in the stamp set made with love for a true friend. That would be awesome. Um, your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air or from all of us, uh, depending upon what occasion you are making this card for. So hope you enjoyed this um, chalkboard technique using the um, watercolor pencils. If you want to purchase any of these supplies, just head on over to my store. I will have the link here below, or you can um, check out my blog as well. Thanks and have a great day.